Hello everyone, I want to be discussing some information about A Motherland Party as inspired by Vladimir McGray's book, documentary books, The Ringing Cedars of Russia series, and it is for kin's domains, and among other things, and benefits, and uh, benefits that will come to our country with a party, and political leaders, and people who are part of this movement. Um, it is for everyone. And so I'll start with some historical information that regards to these books and also influences us today. Uh, that has a, a large, large meaning to, to all of this. So I'm going to be reading this from the internet and some uh, writings that I did and got from elsewhere. So, author Vladimir McGray recently won Laureate of Gazi Peace Prize International for the world-changing ideas and information in his books can visit his website at www.vmegre.com. He also got accepted to Stanford University uh, to a closed-door uh, meeting of all the laureates of, laureates of the uh, Gazi Peace Prize to discuss, among other things, I'm sure, the world situation today, because the ideas in his books are uh, truly... Uh, life-changing for the entire planet at this time. And there's also a motherland party being started in the Middle East, and they have a video up on YouTube. Just type in motherland party or the motherland party on YouTube and you will find it. <clears throat> Many of us know about the ancient Vedic civilization from India, but not everyone knows that a Vedic, Vedic means knowing, civilization spanned the entire earth at a time. Some researchers on and off the internet are confirming this now. Anastasia, the main speaker in Vladimir McGray's documentary books, The Ringing Cedars of Russia, speaks in the series about the Vedic Rus, or Vedrus, civilization, and slowly gives us their history and its rebirth in the present day. She says that her and all people from Europe, parts of the Middle East, and Russia are of the Vedic Rus civilization as well as those who have recently settled in America. These are the original Proto-Indo-European people, and some others have used the term Aryan. Their knowledge of the natural world and of the universe was precise and vast, like the other Vedic nations of the world, including Mayan, to include one, and have a direct connection to the earth. They, our forebears, are advanced, and this is precisely where Anastasia's information leads up to of her sayings in the books about her, giving back the important parts of her history, of their history, and knowledge to the people today, so that we can learn from and avoid some of the mistakes they made and heal the earth and man's relationships worldwide. The crux of this movement and resulting in Motherland Party is at least one hectare, about 2.5 acres of land, for each family wishing to birth children in the countryside. This feeds the family and the rest of the nation with the freshest produce grown, which is of the highest quality anywhere. This is the kin's domain, or family estate, and the ancestral home. Information on how to improve cities has given is given as well, as well as information on how to clean up all radioactive waste and storage on the planet. A technique of seed planting and interaction with plants is given in which it cures all disease regardless of its nature. Irregardless of nature. This statement may be tested in the given ways as mentioned in the books by the FDA or similar independent organization. Festivals to help people find their soulmates or their other half will be made available to everyone, and the opportunity to be given their family plot of land. Also, simple and effective rites for maintaining the energy of love and families forever will be available to those living on their family plots of land. A word about this. Our Vedic Rus forebears understood the energy of love as being the ultimate gift of the Creator, and treated it as another member of the family when it came to them in the form of a young couple, your son or daughter, meeting and falling in love with their intended. From here, preparation was made for the couple to look for their own land on which to start a family. They would prepare the land for events to come, dig a well, chart the direction of air currents, note where the sun and moon rose, the patterns of the rain and snow as they fell. A wedding would take place here, on their land, which shaped the entire future to come, and neighbors would help to plant seeds and trees of different kinds, as well as providing animals the couple chose. 
Conception of a child would not happen till later. A few days would go by first to prepare. Conception was primarily spiritual, being an understanding of what is material and physical together. As the crux of inspirational energies and the energy of love, taking form as this new oasis, this garden paradise created by the momentum of their love, came together at the right time and for the birth of a new creation, of a child. Children born in this way have a better feeling of the world, are healthier, and are given everything from the very beginning. Birth was given in birthing tubs in the water, and the mother and father were the only ones allowed inside. Different adaptations for other but associated rites are given in the books. The word right should be translated as intelligent, logical acts. And some further information. Uh, so these kin's domains are uh, very important to the whole nation and the world as a whole, feeding not just those who live on them, but also providing, very important, the the best produce to the rest of the nation and the rest of the people. And uh, to give some statistics on how this would work, and uh, this was previous, before, and during, and after uh, this movement in Russia, the origins of this movement in the Motherland Party. In 1999, 35 million small family plots produced 90% of Russia's potatoes, 77% of vegetables, 87% of fruits, 59% of meat, 49% of milk. Uh, since 1999, it seems things have only gotten better when it comes to small-scale agriculture in Russia. In 2003, the Russian president signed into law a further private garden plot act enabling Russian citizens to receive free of charge from the state plots of land in private inheritable ownership. Sizes of the plots differ by region, but are between 1 and 3 hectares each. 1 hectare is 2.2 acres, or close to 2.5 acres. Produce grown on these plots is not subject to taxation. A further subsequent law to facilitate the acquisition of land for uh, gardening was passed in June 2006. And that came from a footnote in Who Are We? Book 5 by Vladimir McGray. Uh, what other country raises so much of their food in such sustainable, organic, and non-GMO modes of production, while the European Union is setting the stage for agri agribusiness takeover of major market share from traditional peasant farmers in places like Poland? Russia seems to be one of the few countries on the global stage moving so clearly in a sustainable and healthy direction. And further on... Uh, well, you know, ag ag organic farming gets a lot of media attention in North America. The fraction of agricultural land actually under organic cultivation is minuscule at 0.6%. And even then, not by these, uh, these, uh, these families birthing children on their land. And so the whole point is that it will also stimulate the economy to a great degree. And I actually helped come up with a system for this the other day, which may be used and is a part of our platform uh, for entrepreneurs and investors who would like to join us in this endeavor, is, uh, hold on a moment here, have it written down somewhere, let's see, all right. Here's a succinct update of what could be just the start of the system. And this is to supply uh, for funds to actually help build these kin's domains. Because not everybody's going to be able to do it. And the government or other companies should really come together and make it happen. Because its value to the country as a whole and to individuals is much, much greater than the, the funds that would be acquisition to build these. Credit or line of credit is pulled from all wholesale companies to support the building of kin's domains. Wholesale companies price the produce sold from Kins Domains and other items made there at marked up prices. So they're making a lot of money. And these produce would be the most valuable on the market. They would be our organic produce for the nation as a whole, getting rid of large agricultural businesses. Although they could be selling the produce from these uh, small Kins Domains. Further credit is pulled from the wholesale companies and the investors and banks make their profit and continue to help build Ken's domains because they want an equity line of credit to make their money and to guarantee them that they're going to make money. Banks would become part 
partnerships of a wholesale companies sharing and giving credit to build kin's domains and in making a profit from the wholesales from the kin's domains so no tax is put on the kin's domains and these people may leave stress-free and productive lives very productive the most productive of any uh organization or movement in the entire country so this would be the basis of our economy uh both make a lot of money, the people and the wholesale company and the bankers, if say 7% or 10% have these kin's domains, although percentages could be much greater. And there are many images presented in these inspired Ringing Cedars of Russia documentary books, which give the outlines to start a motherland party. A lot of information, practical information is given, like I said before, to clean up radiation on planet Earth, to cure all diseases of the people living on these plants, plots by planting seeds in a certain way. And all of this stems from the ancient Vedic culture of knowledge, which are our forebears. And we are Vedrus ourselves. And even people who are not of European, Middle Eastern, or Russian descent, a Vedic culture spanned the entire world at a time, and they have great wisdom coming from their traditions as well. And a whole uh, collection of people living in this ancient new way for these modern days uh, would produce the greatest greatest amount of healing effect for the entire planet, uh, ecologically by building these oases, uh, financially for stimulating economy, and uh, and uh, let's see if there's anything anything else really. Uh, nope, that just about does it. I uh, we are independent, the Motherland Party. We're looking to maintain an image of independence, but we are inspired by these books, and they give the foundations for this whole movement in the first place and for a way of life that is applicable to everybody. No religion is necessary here, although it is for people of all religious denominations and even people interested in sciences. The purpose here is a knowledge, and for those who do care, our forebears and the Vedic people did believe in a creator and they believed in the energy of love though and that love mimics the creation of the world and the birthing of children mimics the creator i'm sure many religions will many religious people will agree with that out there that love is the primary gift the energy of love that starts and establishes families so i'm going to try to make better videos than this in the future because i know it's a little scattered i'm also looking to get help from people who are willing to perfect this message uh, with me and I'm going to make some pamphlets for the movements and start passing them out to people through the internet and also who I meet locally around here. I live in cool California. And so uh, all the information is given here. And we might also be partnering, the Motherland Party, partnering with the Grange and the National Grange and starting with the California, Californian Grange here because they are a farming organization and a community center and their motto is the patrons of husbandry and in fact a lot of this movement is for rights of mothers and to give them knowledge on conceiving children and how to birth children and how to uh, have health for their families and the Grange happens to be the first organization in American history to help support rights for all women in the 1900s or maybe even late 1800s I, I, I sort of forget the uh, date there but the Grange which helps and sh which is a almost a lobbying platform there's a national Grange next to the White House and they have helped before in changing legislature and they may, may be able to help us make laws to make building these kin's domains for people easier these are solutions for the entire world problems from crime to uh, wars to hunger uh, everything to illness and disease and if you go through and read the books or if you analyze these statements closely one would see the verification of this and also prisons in case of prisons we send people there to change their consciousness and not just to punish them but to hope that a worldview change occur occurs and around penitentiaries and prisons there's generally a lot of land and for appropriate inmates who are actually interested and in uh, meet certain recommendations who may be given these books as well to absorb the information that would be useful to them they may be given 2.5 or 2.2 acre plots of land uh, situated around these penitentiaries with new boundaries set up around them if necessary 
to where they can build their own family domains and come with ev- in contact with everything the best that nature and the earth and the universe has to offer in growing these plants in a special way which cures diseases and actually changes the consciousness and well-being of a man and it creates a state of peace around them and if they have families in the future if the program is successful families will be able to move into these plots of land which is amazing and there's no real way that this system could fail because the inmates would have to undergo a series of uh, you know, they'd have to learn, they'd have to become educated first, and the boundaries would be there. So it is a very good way. And all these ideas that I have actually mentioned come from Vladimir McGray, who recently was laureate of the Ghazi Peace Prize International for the world changing and information and ideas in his books. And now you know why. And so this is something useful to everybody in all nations. This is its manifestation, hopefully here, the beginnings in America. I live in California, and um, eventually there will be a movie made of this book series. It is that exponential, and people will learn about it at a quicker rate. So I'm going to go put this up on YouTube now and hopefully make other videos. I hope this has been educational and enjoying, and I look forward to your responses. Thank you very much, and enjoy your thoughts.